every year I like to create at least one seriously hot hot sauce and this video is about the one I'm making for this year. This year I didn't grow a lot of super hot peppers because I was concentrating on a couple source ideas that I had from last year and I was focusing on those. However, I did grow some super hot peppers and that's what we're going to be working with today. Over this side we have our seven pot habaneros. These things are steaming hot. Some like this are just beautiful. This here is the Naga Brain chocolate, which is going to be seriously hot. And this here is my Trinidad Dougla. Some of the other ingredients that we're going to be working with, we've got onion, we've got seven garlic cloves, and then we're also going to be adding in some Chinese five spice. It is uh, star anise, cinnamon, fennel, black pepper, and clove. This is going to be a brine fermentation. So basically I'm adding in the brine. I'm not going to let the peppers create their own. So that would be a mash. We have a liter of water and we need to add two to three percent salt into this and mix it up but let's prepare the peppers and get them put into our jar i'm just going to give the garlic a bit of a, a light chop i don't want them crushed or anything because i still want some of the flavor to come through i don't want all the sugars to be eaten up so we're going to have it fairly large chunks as you can see there and the onion same thing not going to chop it up too fine, just going to chop it like that. This is all going to be blended at the end anyway. And let's do the peppers. Yeah, you, can, <laughs> you can always smell the super hots, they uh, start tingling in the nose. Just pushing that down to the bottom. Something else I want to add just before we put the brine in is the Chinese five spice. So a heap teaspoon should do it and it'll give a lovely aroma and flavor at the end. Try not to spill everywhere. So I'm just doing it up to the shoulder. I will be coming back to this after a couple days and just give it a bit of a, a shake. Make sure that any any of the uh, peppers that are above the, the brine get a bit of a coating of the brine so that they keep on being safe. Remember there are going to be air bubbles in here so uh, the liquid level is going to drop. So just give it a squish down with the uh, whisk and you should get most of the air bubbles out. When you do come to have a look at your fermentation in the morning or in a day or two, just make sure that there still is enough brine to at least mostly cover all the peppers because the air bubbles, once they disappear, uh, you could potentially have a lot more space inside there for brine. So I'm going to seal this up. Well, before I do that, I'm going to put in the uh, airlock. I find it's easier to do it before you screw the lid on. There we go. And just have a look underneath just make sure that that is not too far down because uh, if it touches the liquid, all that's going to happen is your brine is going to start rising up here and you don't want that to happen. And there you have it. This is going to go into the fermentator now and we'll come back to it in about two weeks time to finish up the sauce. It hasn't been two weeks. Uh, like I said just a few seconds ago, it's actually been six months. It is now March. I put this sauce in at the end of September and I think the sauce is looking good and I don't think we'll have any problems with it. Life just gets in the way and uh, I never had a chance to finish it off. And also I wanted to leave a sauce to do, you know, early in the year because obviously I don't have any fresh peppers at the moment. That's only coming in the next few months once my pepper plants are ready. So I just wanted something to be able to, to do at the end of March for you guys really as well because I know you like the source videos. So let's get started and check out this fermentation. So here it is. We are going to open that up in just a sec. First things first, I need to get myself a bit of a drink. 
So let's take a look in here. So if we look inside here, um, the smells, <laughs> that's one hell of, a, hell of a strong smell. I can smell the Chinese five spice and um, I can really smell the heat here. So this is looking so healthy and not worried about that one at all. Be interesting to see what the pH is like. So let's just pour that out. Oh, it smells so, so good. You can see at the bottom, um, a little bit of the Chinese five spice sitting down below. Um, wow, <laughs> the fumes. <coughs> wow. Um, yeah, so it's obviously taken on some of the color of the peppers and you can see the onion has also taken on some of the colors of the pepper. That's looking good. I can actually smell the Chinese five spice, the onions after obviously the fumes go away, the fumes of the, the peppers. Um, I can smell the rest of the ingredients and it smells delicious. Okay, let's close this up. There we go. Do we sieve it out? Or do we leave it nice and thick like that? Uh, what I'm going to do, I want to test the pH. So let's do that quickly. We have our pH tester here. I'll leave a link for this down below. It's a really good one. I like it. Let's test it out. So it's showing 4.0, 3.9. Not sure if you can see that on the camera. 3.7. 3.7. Six, still settling. 3.5, 3.4. Wow, this is really fermented well. So 3.4, 3.5. I think we'll settle around there. There we go. So settled on 3.4 on the pH, and uh, that is excellent. So. I've said in previous videos, but I'll say it again, below 4.6 is what you're looking for. Uh, when you get this low, then you're going to have a really, really safe source. It's going to be quite acidic, 3.4. Uh, vinegar is around about 2.5, 2.8. So even though it's been a much longer fermentation, I'm very confident that it will be very healthy. I'm not going to waste that. Okay, so I think it just goes like that. You see it dripping down below. I'll be honest, this is working out pretty well actually. I'm quite happy with that. It's done a great job. I'll see if I can find a link to this on Amazon and I'll put that down in the description below as well. Here is our beautiful sauce. So I think it's time for us to give us a bit of a taste. Uh, <laughs> a little bit nervous because this is a hot one, a really hot one. Um, but I, I need to taste it now just so that I can decide whether I'm gonna add some brine back in. If I like the flavor as it is and I don't wanna change it or play with it, then I'll leave it as is. So let's give it a try. So uh, <coughs> it's about a teaspoonful. I think that's a bit much, but. <coughs> My nostrils are burning and I haven't touched them or anything. Um, so let's give this a try. <coughs> wow. Oh, make my eyes water. Um, that's hot. Um, just trying to get the flavors. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that, that, that heat is there. It's, uh, it's not even a builder. It hits you straight away as soon as you, you take it in. These peppers really do a number on you. Um, the flavors, uh, Once you get past that burn, uh, the five spice is coming out a little bit. 
Um, the garlic, I can really taste the garlic. Probably could have put a little bit more garlic. Um, but that's, that's pretty good, actually. Um, once you get past the burn, uh, and then you sort of, <laughs> your taste buds let you uh, start tasting things again. Uh, the aftertaste is really good. These are really tasty peppers, I must say. They, they are very, very good. Uh, damn hot, but very tasty. So I think I am going to add some brine. I think this does need to be thinned out a little bit. There you go. I'm going to add that in there. So there we go, there's our sauce. The sauce turned out fantastically. It's got a serious heat. Um, I'm tingling everywhere and I think that's because I've touched my face. I'm sweating a little bit um, and I wiped my face. I've just done it again and I'm not wearing gloves. <laughs> so some of the peppers are on my fingers. I can feel pain all around my face here. Um, I think I'm done with the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you enjoyed it and we'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now. They're coming after you Old man, old man Let's go out